important lesson and module in here. Uh, many people don't know about this great tool that we use. It's called GMAS, and this is how we're automating and sending out mass amount of messages every single day. So I've literally spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on different types of tools for marketing, and this is by far the best one for uh, sending out emails, uh, especially for direct cold outreach. So let me get right into it. So the reason why I like it specifically is because the pricing. The pricing it is extremely cheap compared to what what else is out there. Uh, and you know, you're probably thinking, oh, if it's cheap, then it's probably not that good. It's probably not high quality. Trust me, this is the best one. So I've used tools like Replyify where it's like literally like, I think I pay like, I, I was paying like $170 per month. And I wasn't really a big fan of it because the deliverability with it was terrible. And the reason is, is because they're using their own SMTP servers. And so whenever, you know, you get a lot of users on their own servers, it's, I think it's just ruining the, the authority that it, they have. And so, but so it just kind of ruins it. But with this, it's literally a Google Chrome extension that you add, and it's going to send it strictly straight out of your Gmail. So it's not using any servers unless you want it to. If you want to connect it to servers, you could, you know, that's not a bad thing as well. But the technology behind this is really great in the sense of it makes it really personalized. And, you know, and there's so many different things you can do with it. And I, don't know, I, just, I just think this one's the best. I'm not affiliated with them at any, in any way at all. So please use this because this is what I'll be teaching you how to use. And this is what I use currently as well. So yeah, it's like $19 per month. I use the $19 per month because they have auto follow-ups, which is very important. If you just send out cold outreach messages without follow-up messages, you're probably not going to close as many deals as you want to. Um, but with the auto follow-ups, you, you can. Um, so yeah, let's kind of get into it. So you know, once you download your list of leads, this is what it looks like, right? So I go ahead and just copy this strictly into a Google Sheet because that's what you're going to be using it out of. And so I kind of cleaned out the Google Sheet already and kind of tailored it down. So kind of just to get you an idea. So the way I'm about to send it out right now is really tailored uh, to my needs. But I kind of get you in the mindset of how you want to tailor it for your business, right? So I downloaded a list from dermatologists in Chicago. And the way we target our dermatologists is we're trying to target their Instagram. So for you, it might be, you know, they're, you're trying to help them, you know, become mobile friendly or, you know, trying to put a Shopify store in them, whatever it may be. It just really depends on what you have. And so you can set up certain filters to kind of help you out in that area. So for me specifically, I'm targeting their Instagram, right? And so, and I need their email because I'm sending cold outreach messages. So I go ahead and just delete anyone whose emails, they, who, who doesn't have an email and then who doesn't have an Instagram. And when you do that, it only leaves you with like 70, oh, I'm not actually, 105 members. That was in the 70s. Uh, that's fine because, you know, I have like literally like tens of these, tens of this list that I target for just for Instagram. So that's a thousand leads right there. And then I'm send, using another one of the tools that I'll show you in the next lesson to target everyone whose number I have. So either way, you're still sending out a lot of outreach every day. So to kind of get you a better idea of how to do this, you just, you know, kind of delete everything. I like to keep the category on mine, specifically, you know, since I'm in the medical field, I want to be able to say, hey, like, uh, you're a plastic surgeon or hey this whatever you know so it, it looks really well um, but another thing I do right so I go and one second I'm looking at a notification on my phone okay I'm back into this hi right. sorry about that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do what is that data uh create filter or it's a filter views um, let me try to find it real quick tools view insert mm, what am i looking for damn i literally don't know where it is so just to kind of give you a background of how i do mine right so i don't really do this i have sops basically they're just like training videos for my vas and then we teach them oh here we go we teach them how to do all this, so they manually, you know, take care of all the outreach every day. They go in and download our list. They do all this for me, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so if you want a virtual assistant, please message us, and you know we can set you up with one. But I don't like doing this just because it takes a lot of time. I mean, it doesn't really take a lot of time. I'm just not a big fan of replying and setting things up. I like to be more analytical. So I want to get rid of that link and I'll show you why the script I'm kind of calling their Instagram around specifically. And so I want to take out the Instagram.com and just replace it with an A. Uh, match case. Let's do this. Replace all. 
Oh, well, there's only two. Let's do that again, because that's not what we wanted. Where'd it go? Data. But, I mean, you get the idea, right? I might not even set this list out, because honestly, I don't know if they already set this list out or not. But, you know, you can get it very tailored like that, and then I keep all my scripts in Google Drive. So let me just show you the script, right? And one thing to keep with your scripts is you always want to be a soft opener, kind of just trying to get them to respond back. And so this script might not work for a lot of you that just started with your business and you might not have any clients yet. So it kind of gets you an idea of what it does, right? So I'm sending out a message. It says, hey, and then it's going to have a little tag that has their name in it. So each person's name. So it's going to say Chicago Skin, Cl Skin Clinic or it's going to say Elizabeth Walner. Uh, I noticed that you're A and then it's going to have the category. It's going to say plastic surgeon, uh, a doctor, whatever it may be. In the Chicago area, and I found you through your Instagram, and then it's gonna have their Instagram handle. So you know, obviously, you know, replace it correctly, like I didn't do, but replace it correctly with an at sign, so it just has their Instagram handle. And then we're not in Dallas, so I need to change this script. Chicago under the lockdown due to the coronavirus, I thought it'd be a great time to reach out. And then the reason I'm reaching out is because, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the category right here. On average, I have extremely low engagement rate. On Instagram, I help dermatologists. I'm put the category again, increase their organic engagement to help their exposure for their personal brand and medical practice. A blah, 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 right? Would you be interested in, see and this is where, you know, you always have to have a call to action. Would you be interested in seeing a case study from a, I'm gonna have the category right here. We currently work with, and the reason I'm saying that category right there is because we work with plastic surgeons, doctors, and dermatologists. So the script kind of works with all of them because we have case studies for all of them, you know, but once again, it's all according to your business and what your needs and structures. Um, but it's always a soft opener. We're not trying to sell them. We're just kind of giving them information and like, you know, pointing out the weaknesses within their systems and showing how we can kind of improve it. Uh, and then we're just saying, would you be interested in getting a case study from a dermatologist we currently work with, work with? And they're going to say, yeah, of course, I want to see a, derm uh, a case study, you know, and then we're going to, uh, our virtual assistants go in and they send out the case study. And the case study also comes with like a link to our calendar and then they'll book a call with us. But if they don't, then we have, you know, we take their positive response, contact information, put them into our active campaign, kind of target them that way. And we do a whole bunch of cool stuff. And sometimes they might just go ahead and reply and say, hey, like, uh, let me go ahead and add this. So I kind of added that list in right there. So let me just show you how it gets really specific. And then I'll kind of get back into what I was talking about. So I'd go ahead and copy this script. And then see, uh, so as you can see, you know, it has a little, kind of like a gray background. Just make sure you're not doing it that way. Otherwise, this might be all more to spam. Make sure it's like, you know, like you literally went in there and typed each, each message. And then all I'm doing is I'm going and clicking this GMAS settings right here. And then I'm doing the personalized and I'm entering each one of these in. So as you can see, they have one for Instagram category, email, phone, and that's because it's doing it according to the spreadsheet, like what you have on the top one, the headers kind of. And then when you're done, just click GMAS and it'll it individually send out each one of them. Uh, if you want to send a test email to yourself, so I get, I mean, in the beginning, always send test emails to yourself. Even right now, I tell my virtual, assist, virtual assistants to send out test emails to themselves because I want to make sure that the email is structured properly and that all the little functions are working properly as well but it literally sends out each email individually and it makes it seem like uh each email is you know your own so as you can see all my emails okay i'm just making sure that none of this is there so I, this is actually not the account i use for um uh gmas but just to kind of give you an idea if you do what's called, i think they give you this email right here oh yeah they'll refund the first payment if you just do these two things. So if you want to save some money, then go ahead and do that. Uh, but that's kind of how you use GMAS and how we're using it. So just to kind of get you a better idea of, of what I was talking about earlier. Uh, for all the people that respond, we send them a case study and with a link to our calendar. And then uh, when they respond, or if they don't book a call, then we're putting them into our active campaign. Uh, sometimes we'll send them a link to our calendar and they'll be like, hey, go ahead and just give us a call right now. And if I'm busy, what my virtual assistant will usually do is just go ahead and put them into the voicemail software that we use and it automatically sends up a voicemail and then you know kind of, we have a whole bunch of systems set up and we'll keep teaching you about this stuff but this is just a really quick introduction to gmas i've included a lot of links on how uh to set it up 
the pricing, a whole bunch of different things. So check out the links below. Uh, and if you have any more questions, like GMAS has a really great uh, support team and they have like a whole blog that really answers like all the questions that you probably will have and probably answer them way better than I can as well. But super easy setup, super cheap, super efficient. Uh, so many different ways you can use this to target. This is literally, you know, the gold mine when it comes to targeting people with your leads. So, yeah.